Hello, my name is Magne. I'm working full time as a professional tutor in Norwegian, and all of these videos is made for you to get a grasp overview of the Norwegian A1 level. This is part one of something I assume will be about 10 part series to complete the grammar of the A1 level. Um, as of course, as a tutor, this focus here will be primarily on what is problematic for English speakers or native English speakers but of course I will go through all, uh, all the grammatical elements that generally is in course books or course material that you will find in Norwegian language school so uh, yeah this first part is just we will start just in this first part to get some basic grasp of uh, pronunciation which is Generally, um, usually it's not a big issue in Norwegian, but of course it is. Uh, <coughs> there is a few rules you have to follow, and as, as some words is quite different than may look similar to English, but it's pronounced quite differently. Second part we will go through here it's uh, present tense uh, pronunciation. We will naturally come back to in later classes. Present tense is quite easy, and uh, you should understand them. Uh, main elements of present tense in Norwegian after this short class. Third element is placement of verbs. This is something that will cause problems for a long time forward. Uh, we will have go through the mas basic principle uh, concerning it, but um, it will be a topic that will be coming back to many times later. Uh, and finally, just a little vocabulary to make you be able to create simple phrases in the present tense and uh, just basic greeting phrases. Since this is a video that's probably around 25-30 minutes long, it will not contain enough material or training exercises. It's just an overview. For training and vocabulary, you should visit our sites uh, which will be developed continuously with increased vocabulary and exercises. So, if we just go over to the first part, basic pronunciation. And for basic pronunciation, uh, let's start with the alphabet, which is, uh, as you will see, Norwegian alphabet has three extra letters, A, E, O. But, we will start from the beginning. I will uh, speak each uh, letter slowly, so you can listen. And if you so wish, uh, uh, repeat in the pauses in between. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, U, P, Q, R, S T U V W X I Z A Ø O uh, can mention briefly a few elements. The E, and sometimes has the sound of the same of the A in in words, but E. Uh, when I'm speaking, I'm from the city of Bergen in the west coast. I have a strong R. It generally, your R, it's not a big problem. It's probably, yeah, it's more of a dialect. I don't manage to throw away. So, uh, if you're concerned about the R, just listen to other Norwegian audio from people from other regions and you probably will find out your R is completely fine. Uh, the U 
causes some problems for some people depending on their native tongue. It's a Norwegian is a strong U. And then we have the three last letters that causes a problem for some. It's A, U, O. Another element that is uh, the short and long vowels. Uh, Norwegian only have two length of the vowels basically. It's the short ones and the long ones. Uh, if the vowel, which you see here on the left in uh, written in red, is followed by two consonants, it tends to be short. If it's followed by one consonant or no consonant, it tends to be long. Yeah, uh, the vocabulary here is not very uh, uh, useful, so we will not go through the vocabulary. Just listen to the difference between a short vowel and a long vowel. So we start with a, uh, tak, tak. Next one, lege, lege. Finne, fine. Komme, skole. Ull, ulike. Lyst på, lys. Færre, lære. Ørken, øl. Ånd, ål. This is generally not something that causes a uh, uh, problem, but just if you meet a new word, just re and you're uncertain about the short and long vowel, look at the amount of consonants behind the, or after the vowel. These sounds, it's something that is more uh, causes more problem, and you have to. This is not just if the the word starts with one of these letter combination. It's also if it's in bit in the middle of words. Uh, they are quite common uh, so it's it's just to uh, remind it uh, remind when you see it it's in this letter combination here it's sh as in english ship in norwegian s j s k e s k j and sky would be combination would in norwegian has this uh, sound and this pronunciation shald uh, she Shia. Shalden, she, shia. Same sound as in ship. Another uh, combination. It's a sh. It's a little bit different and uh, it's not so common in English. So if you take, co uh, you see the combination here, it's ko y, k, uh, k e, k j. So, if you can, how the, it sounds in words in Norwegian here, it's schist, chino, chöre, schist, chino, chöre. The third combination that is, uh, which is often sometimes causes problem, it's good to remember, but of course it's not so uh, uh, wrong if you speak it wrongly, but the G it's very weak. It's like in the ring. It's NG combination ring in Norwegian words is mange or lang. Notice how the G it's not mange. It's not mange. It's mange lang. One of the things that you will notice in Norwegian is this often has a silent letter, uh, particularly in the end of words, but not only in the end of words. In the first example here, it's words ending in L-E-G, which basically words that ending in I, uh, I-G has a silent G. Uh, but it is in this combination, even if it's not in the ending of the word. For example, you see the words here in parentheses. Vanly, Markeli. 
The next uh, is a silent letter is the letter T in definite nouns. Uh, Norwegian we will have in next uh, next video. Norwegian has three nouns, uh, three genders: uh, male, female, and neutral. In the definite form, you add an ending to the uh, nouns, and in the nouns ending in T, it's usually or when it is because it's a neutral noun in the definite form. Uh, the T, you add the T, and the T gets uh, silent. So in this example, it's uh, Husa or Balta. Uh, yeah. Again, this is nouns, and it's not related to verbs. You might hear someone use who speak particularly, trying to be particularly clear, saying these T's even in Norwegian, but just uh, avoid them because it is it will sound weird and it will sound like a verb if you as a habit of uh, pronouncing this T. So, nouns ending in T and it would be in the definite form. Husa, Balta. We have some um, uh, silent words, uh, uh, letters, where it is uh, G and H in front of J, Yallar, or Yul. Yeah. This is uh, Generally, not causing a, a problem, but uh, yeah, you might be aware of them. The silent D in end of words is something that is uh, tend to cause a bit more problem because it is it's not a strict rule, but it is more common than not. So, just be aware of the silent Ds in end of words. Finally. Silent H in words starting with HV. This you will meet a lot because the Norwegian question words is starting with HV. The Norwegian question words that's equivalent of the English WH. So uh, these words would then be pronounced BA, VU, VAM, which means what, where, and who. VA, VU, VAM. So, yeah, we will go through more with the pronunciation naturally you, when you follow along with the classes and we, we will provide more audio. But for now, it's just these uh, brief rules we will mention, so we can, which we will talk about more later. But now we will go to the present tense, verbs in present tense. So, uh, as in English, present tense is used about actions that currently or regularly ha uh, happens. And in Norwegian, this is in regular verbs, it's quite easy. You have the infinitive form. To create the present tense, you add the R. There are irregular verbs, of course, but in regular verbs, which is uh, most verbs, to create the present tense, you just add the R. And unlike English, you you don't have to conjugate it based on whether it's first person, I, third person, he, plural, we. The verb, it's the same in Norwegian, regardless whether uh, who is doing the action, whether it's singular or plural. For example, we can take a few uh, examples here. Ospisa, it means to eat. If I'm going to say, I, I eat, or I'm eating. Jeg spiser og læser. It's to read. If I were to say he reads, I would say han læser or he is reading. Han læser. It's the same. Third example: og snakke, which means to to talk. In, uh, if I were to say we talk, vi snakker. We will get more through with the grammar, with the infinitive form, but you see is English has two in front of infinitive form. Norwegian has the word uh, letter O. But uh, this, this will be more uh, later. So, so, just a few more examples. Uh, 
present tense in Norwegian. Just notice how the R is just added to all of these uh, infinitive uh, forms. Or spise. Jeg spiser. Og trikke. Du trikker. Og lese. Han leser. Ja. Og bo. Hun bor. Og snakke. De snakker. Og se. Dere ser. You in plural. Og gå. De går. Then we let's go over to the an element that generally causes a bit more bit more uh, problem. Verb in second location. Uh, if I were to say I'm reading a book, or no, I'm reading a book, it it would be the same structure if I put now. Uh, if I want to emphasize that I'm reading a book right now, as opposed to I'm reading a book. No. I'm reading a book. However, in Norwegian, I would say, hey, I'm reading a book. You would say, jeg leser en bok. However, if I were to say, no, I'm reading a book. In Norwegian, you would say, no, leser jeg en bok. Notice how the verb, the, uh, the verb, leser, here is moved, so it gets in the second location. Uh, second location is a bit uh, silly rule because it's of course some words after org as for and or man as for but it's not considered a word word but when you start a new phrase uh, the verb gets in second location so let's another example here if I were to say jeg ser på TV i kveld it's pronoun verb. I watch TV this evening. However, if I were to put this evening, ikval, first in the phrase, I have to also move the verb. Ikval ser jeg på TV. Jeg ser på TV ikval. Ikval kval ser jeg på TV. The same will also be when you... Uh, Later, my train with uh, writing about your regular day, what you do first, after, routine, etc. First, spisa vi middag, so servi på TV. This phrase means first we eat dinner, then we watch TV. We could have said, in, uh, you see how the verbs get in, in second location, before the pronouns in both of these uh, phrases. We could have said, these be some middag first. So serve you put here, well, we, but if you had put the first after in the end of the first phrase, the pronoun would be in front of the verb. But before, because you put the pronoun, uh, the, when you do it first, you have to also put the verb in the second location. So, so, before we have some uh, simple phrases in the end, let's just go through with some very basic vocabulary. Uh, yeah. So, if you can repeat, I will uh, speak slowly, so you can repeat after me, if you so wish. Jeg Du Han Hun Vi, dere, de, var, vor, last three, og, man, no. Uh, a short note is about pronunciation org. When I, if you speak and emphasize org one and then the other, you tend to 
uh, to say orc with the G. Sometimes in phrases you will just hear O, like the letter O pronounced. But uh, it's, yeah. So if we go next to vocabulary, O heter, O komme, O bo. Uh, I skipped the O in front of the next, but of course all infinitive forms have the letter O. Snakke. Skrive. Drikke. Lese. Spise. Se. Gå. Okay, that's the re all irregular, uh, reg irregular verbs. We will not uh, mention two irregular verbs: uh, to do or göra, which in present tense is gör. You remove the e, you don't add an r. And next one, to be or vara, in present tense is ar. Ar. Okay, so. To end off here today, I will just read a short dialogue uh, and then uh, translate it after. First, I will read it complete, completely. Tore kommer fra Bergen og Lise kommer fra Oslo. Nu er de på kongress i Kristiansand. Hej, god morgen. Jeg heter Tore. Hva heter du? Jeg heter Lise. Hvor kommer du fra? Jeg er fra Bergen. Hvor er du fra? Jeg kommer fra Oslo, men nå bor jeg i Arendal. Hyggelig å treffe deg. Så, first phrase. Tore kommer fra Bergen, og Lise kommer fra Oslo. Tore comes from Bergen, and Lise comes from Oslo. Uh, nå, nå er de på kongress i Kristiansand. No, they are in a congress in Kristiansand. It's a city south of Norway. Not if, notice how the verb is in second location now. No, are the på congress. Hey, good morning. Jeg heter Tore. Hva heter du? Hello. Good morning. My name is Tore. What is your name? Og heter, it's a verb to be called. Jeg heter Lise. Hvor kommer du fra? My name is Lisa. Where do you come from? Jeg er fra Bergen. Hvor er du fra? I'm from Bergen. Where are you from? So, er fra, are from, or komme fra, come from, you can use interchangeably, as in this uh, dialogue. Jeg kommer fra Oslo, men nå bor jeg i Arendal. I come from Oslo, but now I live in Arendal. Again, notice the verb changing location. Uh, Tore, uh, last dialogue. Hyggelig å treffe deg. Nice to meet you. Okay, thank you. And uh, this is just a brief overview for more exercises and more videos uh, that will uh, be eventually for the whole A1 level. Visit uh, our course, uh, or sorry, our site, NorwegianCourse.com. Thank you.